Let me start by asking you, South Africa hosted a successful Rugby Sevens World Cup. What were some of the highlights of the competition for you? Good evening, Richard, and good, and good evening to your viewers at home. Um, first of all, South Africa hosting in the mother city, Cape Town. What a beautiful town to host. Uh, what a beautiful city, actually. Uh, my personal highlights of the tournament was having the women's servants team, the, the South African team, participate in the occasion. Of course, uh, results didn't go their way because, of, because it's, it's a first time thing for them. But um, having them there and just the occasion itself um, and the exposure that the ladies got to, got to have was massive. All right. Now, how would you judge? How would you judge the performance of the whole South Africa vis-a-vis -vis the performance of the Fijians who actually won the competition? Uh, Richard, in an ideal world, this was supposed to be the perfect send-off for Coach Neil Power, who happens to be the Blitzbox Sevens coach. But uh, that shock loss to Ireland was just the downfall for everything. But if you want to compare them with the Fijians, I mean, F the Fijians, I, I call them fly by night. They just play from anywhere. They can just offload at any time of the game. So uh, their performance, they were just up to, up to scratch with, with, with everything. They were on par, and the occasion never got to their heads. But that's Fiji for you on any tournament. I mean, Fiji, South Africa, and New Zealand team. It's one of the teams you'd bet that, to go through uh, the entire way. All right, Noel Nobanda, let's talk Uganda now. Uh, the country managed to scoop the uh, bowl trophy. Would you rank this as a successful World Cup campaign for them? The, the Ugandans should be very proud of, of, of what they achieved. Uh, going, going down to a side, to a side like Argentina, uh, the odds were, were against them in the first place, but playing... Um, but what they have achieved in this World Cup, they should be very proud. Um, this is a stepping stone for the African team. Because when, when you talk African teams or you talk African giants and, and the servants circuit, you talk Blitzpark, you talk uh, Kenya, and then now Uganda is slowly creeping up, the, is slowly creeping up to be a force to be, re to be reckoned with. All right, speaking of being proud, you just mentioned them, Kenya. That they've been one of Africa's top nations in sevens rugby. How do you judge their performance and what do they need to improve on from your perspective? The Kenyans, as I, as, I, as I just mentioned previously, it's one of those teams that you can, it's, 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 it's one of those top African teams uh, coming after the, the blitz box sevens. I mean, guys like Collins and Jira have been there for almost a decade. I think it's a team that's very powerful. It's a team you can never plan against because you never know what's, what's going to come your way when you face them. But going forward, I think they need to look at the academy side and maybe try and build depth.